Welcome aboard everybody. Today we're going to go after the Ghoul Supplier. That's right, this is a great, great mob to get because he has a weight reducing bag. And we all know how much we need weight reducing bags. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk about the spells we're going to use because the hardest part, in my opinion, starting out here is getting there. We need to get there in one piece. So what we're going to need to use is we're going to need to use regular invisibility and invisibility undead. We also would like to have a memory blur left up because in case we get detected, we're going to have to mez and blur. So let's talk about where we're going to start. We're starting in this zone, this zone in right here. This is from Upper Gryuk. If you're not sure how to get here, I did a video on how to navigate Lower Guck that shows how to get here. Make sure you check out that video. That will help a lot. Also, another thing is that um, you, there are a couple other ways to get in there. You can get in over here uh, from uh, Upper Guck, but I would advise not doing that because it'll put you on the live side uh, over here, excuse me, over there. And over here, it's always really dangerous coming through the water. So try to come in through here. First thing you got to know when you're here is, as we shrink the map, is that um, it's a little tricky getting down there. You're going to have to shift between regular inviso and invisibility undead. You're going to have to be able to keep the calm spell up. In fact, let's go ahead and shift the calm spell to something a little bit lower, one notch lower, which will last a little bit longer. This calm spell goes up to level 40. So we're going to go with that instead. Okay, so let's talk about the levels real quick. On level 36, this is a great level to come in and farm the supplier, assassin, executioner, all those. But it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very, very difficult going down there. So you want to make sure you have rune 2 up. Or, or if you have anything higher, I believe I only have rune 2. Did not buy anything higher at all. So make sure you have that up because you're going to need it for sure and uh, basically it's a great camp to get so let's go ahead and start with what we need to do first thing first we got to hit invisible but before we start that i'd like to mention if you like what you're seeing and you'd like to support the channel make sure you hit the join button it's a great way to support the channel um, all the help i can get i really appreciate and i do mention everybody on the next live stream also if you stop by the live stream i have super chat so you can hit the dollar sign over there all donations are appreciated, large and small. So really appreciate all the uh, support I've been getting out there and all you've been fantastic. Uh, it's really made it a lot of fun here. Okay, so here we go. Let's get the uh, show in a row. Let's hit invisibility because the first mobs you're going to encounter are invisible. First guy is right here. He's level 27. He's not a big deal. As you can see here, using third-person view, there's another guy. Now, they have an undead guy that, that tracks up and down this uh, path here. He goes all the way down. You have to be careful of him, or you got to be able to switch your invisibility at the last moment. Also, keep in mind, you should have decent swimming skill, because you're going to have to swim into the area known as the bedroom. We're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more and go like this. One way to do it, if there's nobody in the zone here, what I like to do is wait till the aroma goes by. But if there are people in the zone, most likely they'll have this area cleared out. That'll be a bonus. They'll clear all the way from here to the bedroom. In fact, there's almost always a group doing it, which is really nice. Then it's a, just an easy run down into the bedroom. Otherwise, you have to wait a little bit until you get your opportunity. But uh, we may be able to run it and go for it. Let's see here. Let's take a peek down there. Yep, you saw him down there. So that's the undead guy. There he goes. He's going by. So you can watch through the side there. There he goes by. We're going to take a right. Here, pop invisibility undead. You're going to have to be quick. You're safe in the water.
Now, here's where it gets tricky. Vampire bats can see you. So let's go ahead and set the height filter like this. We're going to stay on this left side. We're going to make a quick swing left, okay? We are invisible undead. So this guy, he can't see us. That is a key. See that? See how I did it real fast? Now you're going to stay on the right side because there's some ice bones up there. Remember, we're invisible undead. It should still be up. Right here is a safe spot, okay? So you can see the ghoul ritualist is over there. So the ghoul ritualist is right over there. We have made it in one piece. Uh, what you can also see is that you've got a guy in the corner. He's over there. He is level 37. Down this hallway here is the gargoyle area. You may have one roamer here. What you have to be careful about fighting in here is that this guy can move around and you'll also get one roamer so you have to be very very careful so now it's time to switch out these spells so let's take these spells down and we're gonna rig for uh, the fight up here so let's go ahead and quick you want to have a root kind of spell in here you want to have uh, direct damage you want to have your best nuke in here you also want to have um, your charm in here so you want to get your charm loaded up you're gonna have beguile and you need to have an invisibility so this is where it gets really really tricky we would like to put a calm spell in there so look at this guy here and this is our boy the roamer and if he pops it's gonna be a problem He will roam right past here. And next thing we want to do is we want to load a invisibility spell. You need this invisibility undead no matter what. The area we're going for is down over here. This is where it gets a little dicey because if he sees you, you're going to have to mez and blur him and move away from him. And there's not many places to move. Okay, so watch him. He goes down there. You will encounter him later. So what you're going to be doing is in the, the supplier assassin room, you have a couple ways to do this. You can uh, pull the stuff out of there and fight it down there, or you can take the fight to them right up there. And that's what I think is really, really tricky about the whole thing, because it can unfold many, many ways. If you choose to fight down here, you're going to have that roamer guy there, or you can actually use him to your advantage. If you choose to fight up there, it's going to be close in and they're going to hit you, uh, definitely, definitely hit you a lot, and it's going to be a problem. But if you can lock one of them down and then get the other one to fight him, you may be able to do the whole thing. So it's all about picking the strategy that you want to do. Fighting down here requires you have to work with this guy. He's a yellow con. He is 37. We are 36. We can use him uh, to fight for us. That's actually a good strategy. The, the danger is, is if there's other groups in here, you're going to get roamers. Okay, so this guy's also a level 37. It would be nice to borrow him for a moment. And then clear this area out. The easy way to do it is to clear these two guys out, fight them, clear it out, keep one guy, take, make him your pet, and then after that, start pulling uh, the top room up there. Uh, let's, why don't we do that instead? That's a safe way to do it. Otherwise, we're going to have to fight in there, and it's very, very difficult to fight them in that tight little room. Very difficult. There's going to be three in that room. Okay, so let's uh, prepare to do this. Uh, first thing we want to do, he ran away again. Okay, we're going to take the guy here. And we're going to go ahead and make this guy our pet right here. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to need a lot of maximum firepower on him. Here we go. Mezzing landed and let's go ahead and beguile him. We're just going to employ root and nuke strategy. Let's wait till the other guy comes up. Nobody else will roam here. It's just this guy here. Up the stair, up the ladder. There is the uh, the guy we want. Nothing else will come down here. We're going to work this as if nobody were in the dungeon here. 
and he may since he's yellow to us he may break out and we're gonna set him there and let's put a tosh tosh him let's go ahead and root him and you can see the fight is going pretty good here our guys beating the stuffing out of him we want to let them fight it out always root him like this and our guy should regenerate pretty quick now you look over here it's our guy's losing so we need to help our guy let's give him a little helping hand and one boom boom and two okay and root these guys don't run you don't have to worry about runners here at all and look at this this guy fights quite good and he's really taking down our wan okay so let's just pop him let's finish him off okay and our boy is going to come back here so one down got some experience need to regenerate the mana our rune and everything is up next thing we're going to do is we're going to load a calm spell let's load our tightest calm we're going to load this one here it has a small reaction radius the trick here is we want to get a single pull oh one more thing we need to do before we get up there is we need to do this um i always do this here you want to cast c inviso because if the assassin is up there he is invisible and uh, if you don't have c inviso on you're not going to know he's there and he's going to jump you and it's going to be game over right there so let's go load our direct damage looks like our direct damage is anarchy and it can take him down pretty quick let's let our boy get up to full power 74 percent watch this here the tosh has got a couple minutes on it so we're gonna we want to get the supplier and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look up there to see what happens uh, these guys if they're wizards they really pack a big big punch so uh as you can see that's it that's height filter okay this is not good you're just working against the clock here working it working it okay so now if you want to improve his survivability you can pop a rune on him and this will give him just a little more survivability let's go ahead and do this we got a little bit of time to work with let's sit let's get the tick up here the tick is up let's go like this now you're gonna have to be really really careful let me show you what you got to do here really 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 careful okay leave him here on a sit position Whoa, look at that. Two of them on top of each other. Okay, so now we see them like this. Oh my, look at that. Isn't that something, huh? So what you want to do now, this is really hard because the supplier and assassin are on, on top of each other. Let's target this guy. We're going to pacify him. Okay, so we're going to go come back down here. Uh, we're gonna have to work really really fast. We want to only get one of them There we go, okay, let's get the supplier gonna pacify him There you go, just like that. Okay, now the next thing we got to do is got to root him real fast. Back up like this. So far, so good. The other guys didn't come along, and our guy is just beating the stuffing out of him. That's right. Okay, let's watch the fireworks. We're going to conserve mana. As you see here, we had the rune on, which really helped a lot. And let's pop him because we want to get the other guy real soon. We did lose our rune, so we have extra mana. Pop that rune back up. And we got a little protection. This will help us. Our clarity is going down. So after we kill this guy, we're going to redo it. Let's pop him one more time. And he is going down. One more shot, and we finish him off. And 
Bammo. Take him down. Wan Wan. Got him. Okay, so now at this point, remember, you got to be careful because sometimes people have trains coming up here, meaning a lot of other mobs, and that's going to be really dangerous. So you got to be careful about that. Let's go ahead and let's put our regen back up. Mind your buffs. The worst thing that can happen is you lose clarity right in the middle of a battle. Let's get this back up. We're going to look at this. This is the Mask of Deception. If you're on a TLP server, you will have the Guise of the Deceiver, which everybody can use this clicky effect. Right now, this one is only usable by uh, Bard and Rogue. It's uh, clickable right here, and it'll turn you into a Bard. I mean, turn you into a Dark Elf. We're already a Dark Elf, so we won't need it. But this is how you go ahead and get this item, Charisma 13. Okay, let's check our timing on this. We have two minutes left, and we have five minutes left. Now, we're not going to need this. We'll go ahead and take it anyway so I can show you. You have a choice here. You can drop him and retosh him since he's down to one minute. And if you do that, you get a fresh froggy. It's always good to have a fresh froggy because uh, you don't want this to drop right in the middle of fight. And I predict it. It possibly can. Or you can go for all the marbles and try to um, go ahead and get one more guy. We're going to try to break him up one more time. Okay, so let's leave this guy right here. We're going to go back up the ladder. Okay, so the one we're going to get here is we're going to go ahead and pacify him. Like so, running pacify, calming him. Okay, so where's our boy? Ghoul supplier. Oh, he rooted me. Okay, if you're getting hit like this, pop the mesmerize on him. And you got to mes him real fast. And the wan looks like he popped too. So it's going to be close. Gotcha. You're back, boy. Put your rune back up. This is why we have extra mana. And then. Let's get the Wan. Let's charm him real fast. Unfortunately, we are Mez. Let's pop one more Mez on the supplier so he doesn't come out and beat us. There we go. And you can see these are never, never straight up fights. Always something happens. So go ahead and get him. Back up just about to here. We're going to need to regen. Uh-oh. And see, this is a bad idea because look what's happening. Tasha's wearing off. Right around the time Mesmerize wears off. But we want to see if we can milk this. If we can keep the supplier um, rooted, this will work. Okay, we got that back. Let's go ahead and let's try to hit him uh, as much as we can. And that was not good. This guy, the Wan, he needs to be Mez. It's going to be close. Got him quickly tosh him swing around get this on him we're gonna need to pop that rune right back up this guy here is still in place pop the rune we got plenty of mana left to fight this through but the problem is what do we have here we have 44 seconds left our whoops the wan here he did not charm he's gonna have a little troubles in charm land got him come on go kick his butt and this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> the WAN has been rooted. That's very nice. Thank you, Ghoul Supplier. Let's go ahead and take down the Ghoul Supplier a little bit. We have mana. We're going to use some mana to blast him. We're going to give a helping hand. And he is a tough guy. How come the other guy was a lot easier compared to this? We've got mana to use, so we're going to use it. We're going to hit him, and then we're going to go back with the root. And you can see we're getting partials on him. And this is now a, a tough fight here. Ghoul Supplier is rooted. 29 seconds to go. I'm going to pop this on him again. There we go. What we're going to do after we win this fight, we're going to blur this Wan guy off. As long as we can get up there. There you go. Go get him, Wan. And he should get him. Wow. There it is, guys. There it is. Have him sit right there. Check it out. We got the light burlap sack, and this is it. 
65% weight reducing, capacity eight. We got it, everybody. This is a great item to get because you can see here that we don't have any weight reducing bags at all. And as a bonus, we got the assassin also. So you remember what we do when we've got this guy here? All you have to do is you can blur him off. So it's not that big a deal. All you do is you cast uh, invisibility undead. You have to be careful here. Make sure you have enough mana and keep a timer running. The other guy will come, the guy in the hallway. And when he does come, we're going to end up with a fight here. So we have a choice of keeping this guy. What I like to do is if I can keep him as long as I can. I move him back here. Here we go. Um, get a little space on him. And then let's go ahead and prepare to blur him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load a memory blur. And we're going to be out of this here. And once we get him blurred, we're going to be all set. Another thing you can do is you can take him downstairs. We're going to be continuing this series as we go. But as you can see right here, he should be wearing off Tosh in five minutes. And as we have gained one level, it has made a big difference. So 37 is an even a good, a good level to do this. So as we've healed up, let's go ahead and let's um, go ahead and do this. We're going to invis ourselves. We're going to mess him. Oop, mess and got him. Fire the blur. Memory blur. Check your extended target list. Uh, he didn't come off it. Okay, so go ahead and mez again. Let's go for another memory blur. Sometimes it takes a couple tries with this memory blur. You want to see him fade off the list. Memory blur him again. And what do you know? He didn't blur again. That's weird. You have plenty of mana. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Let's go ahead and try to blur him again. How many times is it going to take to blur this crazy guy? Come on. Okay, now he's off. Now you hit invisibility undead. There you go. Now you can go hide right over here as it's safe to stay over here. And that guy has been blurred off your list. And now you've got the camp. Now you can go up. If you didn't get the ghoul supplier or the assassin, you can go up in there and use that guy as a pet the guy in the far left and when you use him as a pet you can just t keep the farm yourself and he can easily take it down with a little help and with the long respawn rate you can got you can keep the farm or if you got a group you can stay down here you can get the ritualist like we saw the one over the bridge and work it from there Alrighty, everybody thanks for watching and good luck out there getting the light burlap sack